Hi, hi guys. guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new here hi my name is Lola Quest Solutions and this is my husband Bimiga. in today's video we're going to be talking about a very hot juicy topic guys i couldn't let this one get too cold um recently i did a video talking about the boundaries i set with other ladies in my marriage and just generally talking about how you know i approach my friends who are married and boundaries and everybody was like oh somebody's finally talking about it Thank honestly for being the voice of the voiceless <laughs> I, honestly, <laughs> I didn't expect that much <laughs> from that video honestly it was like i was saying the hearts of paint wives and there were also a lot of comments like oh let's hear from the man's perspective they always seem so oblivious they always this and that Twitter even can read it again. So I was like, oh, how did the female friend have your husband's password in the first place? We won't know. I said, I don't mess with Twitter, but I was still going to bring my husband on the channel so we could talk about it. So in a way, we're here to roast your gender. <laughs> that is the agenda for today. Sorry. sorry. Brava, brava, whatever. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah, ish. Are you ready for it? I would not roast my gender, but we will address the topic. Okay, awesome. Now, before we jump into today's video, I want to quickly say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can access over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who are available to help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just have to answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. Right, and then that way, BetterHelp is able to match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable. You know, whether it's via text, via chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it is convenient for you. If your therapist is in the right fit for any reason at all, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp. You get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from in-office therapy. But with a therapist who is custom picked for you. More scheduling, more flexibility, and even more affordability. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash tolulokwe. And I've also linked them in my description box below. Without further ado, let us jump right into today's topic. <laughs> I just want to ask you first, do you think that personally, Women generally, using your wife as a point of contact, mm -hmm. have too many rigid boundaries. Uh, I would not think so, to be honest. I, f I think it's very, um, I don't say dynamic or subjective, but I, I, like, I wouldn't say it's a general thing. Mm -hmm. I think okay, it's your specific. Wife. Oh, your wife. Oh, <laughs> when we met, uh -huh. when we started dating, it felt that way. Okay. It felt like a <laughs> <laughs> In case you don't know what that is. Yeah, that's it. It's military <laughs> war. It said it felt like military. <laughs> like you were yeah. inside. Uh yeah. uh. I know him. I, uh -uh. I'm not and I, I honestly think the reason it felt that way mm -hmm. was because uh, we have something special. Mm -hmm. What do I say? Had. Mm -hmm. We have something special. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we both obviously wanted to guard it jealously mm -hmm. but you were more fierce about that in terms of guarding it jealously mm -hmm. a lot more fierce mm -hmm. i was also because i had never experienced anything like that before right mm -hmm. so i was like okay this is not one of the ones that you can just take with levity la 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 but you were like next level guarding mm -hmm. like Okay, yeah, I agree. Do you get me? I agree. So, so you came was... across a lot of times like fears in my boundaries. Not even a lot of times, to be honest. Because, okay. I mean, we were, what, we were apart from each other for like yeah. the first, what, do you get, of our, of our us dating and all of that. So yeah. it, it didn't feel that way because I was still, like, everybody was still doing their thing. Everybody yeah. was still, like, yeah. you know, free yeah. to. But it was, I think it was more of, like, understanding and expectation. Mm hmm I think that was what it was, right? Mm -hmm. So, it, let me say, it took a while to find an, equi an equilibrium. Do equilibrium. You, yeah, equilibrium. but do you right. also think that it had to do with where you were coming from? Like, how you take things for granted and maybe it didn't really matter and you was like, mm, it could just slide, you know, gray line. Yes, absolutely. I can definitely say that. Um, and I think this applies to a lot of guys as well. There are 
certain ways we see things that mm-hmm. women definitely don't see. Preach. You know how they, <laughs> you know how they say, oh, if a girl likes you, another girl can tell already before you might even know. Mm. I feel like a lot of guys are like that. Sometimes we might have an idea. Mm-hmm. I like where you're going. Yes. Mm-hmm. We might have an idea that maybe. Mm-hmm. But because we obviously don't want to be forward, one, and then we don't want to make the person feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So we we would typically play the fool or act like everything's cool. Like, if you have not said oha, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say aho. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? So that's, I would say that's how the typical average guy would react Mm -hmm. right so that is that one is there Mm -hmm. that and that's why it would seem like can't you see like it's not obvious yeah and i'm like no it's not (laughs) it's not obvious because you are waiting for them to say baby i love you not necessarily you see that no not necessarily um, baby i love you this is this is even loaded no 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 no, not necessarily that but you get me like would you typically just play along until Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that is I forgot my line of thought. Yeah, we were talking about how you know did it come across? Maybe it was because of where you were coming from that made it seem like I was too fierce. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get me? So and also because like pretty much all my adult life mm-hmm. from when I could remember, like secondary school, I had always had more female friends mm-hmm. than male friends. Mm-hmm. Ladies just felt very comfortable. I, I, I'm a very easy person to talk to. I think mm-hmm. that's what it is, right? Yeah, so, brother, actually. Eh? Yeah, your brother. Exactly. My brother is even. Let me not put him on blast here. <laughs> you know? Did he? Oh, did he? Oh, did he? Oh, did he? You can't In case you are watching this. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it, we've always been like that, mm-hmm. to be honest. And I think we both got it from our dad because mm-hmm. my dad is the easiest person to talk to. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Easiest. Yeah. Easiest. You know? So I understand how sorry love. No shade to my mom. Just say, it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> but I understand how that, like me now being like, oh no, babe, can't you see this? Could have come across as, um, which was the conversation we had in the, in the beginning, exactly. right? But now to take you back, um, to what you just said about you know guys who just keep rolling with they even if they feel like they're like, oh, you haven't said it, oh, ah, so I won't say. <laughs> that was funny um let's bring it now to serious married business right because is it correct no laugh. Oh, yeah so you're married you guys are doing your thing how will you feel over what do you think because in that video i had spoken about like women who don't even see with other married people mm. Why will you be outside and someone actually told me this that you know one babe just came and hit her husband's head and obviously you know that oh their guys their friends but it made her feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. right and in the comments of that video i saw a lot oh my husband secretary will bring food now are we saying everything is like Black um, and white or- yeah or are we saying everything has you know um, an intention behind mm-hmm. it absolutely not but for the most part we also know so i think for women is a lot of let's be safe than sorry Right. Yeah. So, t- is it that men actually? Because I don't want this to be repetitive, but at the same time, mm-hmm. I want it to drive it home, right? What? So this is this is actually my question. Why is it that it is hard for men to just spell it or oh, her the same way women will? Mm-hmm. Remember this conversation we had in mm-hmm. our bedroom mm-hmm. last year, actually. And I'm like, the way I respond to men, even before they say. You know, oh, I won't take you out on a date, or you know, I like your. That don't respect the boundaries I have mm. as a as a married woman, mm. right? It's like blocked, deleted. Oh, hi! Someone said hi. I said I'm married. <laughs> Obviously, not that deep, but you know, that was like the kind of attitude. Yeah, it's like that's yeah. the first thing I'm I'm put to pull forward. Yeah. It's like, oh, what are you doing this evening? Spend time with my husband and my family. Mm-hmm. You know, even before we had kids. Oh, you know, but. We men generally, it's always like, oh, hi, oh, I'm okay, how are you? And yes, it is seamless, right? For the most part. it I, I just feel like it also gives like encouragement mm. to the other party to feel like I can keep pushing my yeah. limits. I don't care. I don't respect the wife. Yeah. Things like that. So do you think that what we do as women is too rigid? Or do you think that men just need to also learn to state it out to say you know i'm married let's be clear here and if they don't why do you think there's also another intention behind it from a man's perspective this is a very good question so i'll try and answer the second one first okay. right in terms of you know like 
or oh, what, what are men thinking? Do they think there's an intention or like the answer really is a lot of guys are just in that bubble of let's see how this plays out. Mm. Let's see where this goes. Mm-hmm. Is this to say, oh, they are not going to put their foot on ground and say, oh, no, 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 I'm not into that. I'm married and blah, blah, blah. Probably will, right? But for a lot of people, it's always the game of let us see where this ends. Let's see how this goes. Mm. It tickles the ego a bit, I'll be honest, for a lot of guys to feel desired, to feel being chased after. Because mm. men do the chasing for the most part. Mm. So to have somebody interested in you or liking you or not liking you per se, but giving you the vibe of, I want to talk to you, I'm interested in you. Mm-hmm. That kind of, for a lot of guys, I feel like, even though they might not be interested, mm-hmm. for some of them, you it is a case be. of, let's see where this goes. If the person now gives me a reason to now say, ah, ah mm, I'm not into, that's not the, then. Are there people who put their foot on the ground and say, I'm sorry, I'm doing it. No, even hello me, hi me. Yes. But I think personality also plays a huge role. So Mm. I, for one, I am, I can be a, one of my colleagues has referred to me as a politician before. (laughs) Probably somewhere. I like peace. You know, I don't like making people. You're not confrontational. I'm not confrontational for the most part. And Mm -hmm. I don't like making people feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I, even if, because I have, I, Banco, my banco is a lot. Mm. Sometimes, you a lot of times, banco is, banco oh, is like, like, like my sharp, you, you kaku, just, yeah. I don't have to put it. You play your way around she, things. I, I can, for the most part, from me, even from me, second conversation, I can tell where things might end up. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm very, calm, but still, I also don't want that person to feel some type of way. So I would move for the most part, let them shoot themselves in the foot kind of thing. Do you get me? I won't be mean or demeaning mm-hmm. or whatever. That's it. That, that's what I would be do normally mm-hmm. back in the day. But obviously, mm-hmm. with conversations, with, you know, age, growth, mm-hmm. certain things have to, you know. But let me not deviate too much. I'm just saying that, you get, there. there is that. So men wanting to feel like, even if they're getting the attention with their girlfriends or it's just like, Tickling my ego to know that oh, very little, you do very, want me, you know, very slight mm. that kind of thing. Mm. And they just want to see where to end up. Mm. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Unfortunately, yeah. not so many people can really now pull themselves back. It's like when you have now put yourself in the ditch, you run around it, even though you don't want to jump exactly. into it. Exactly. But now, the moment your leg now hook inside, you know what? It it's be. now hard. Yeah. to come back so right so I, I think what women do why women um myself especially are protective is because like i said in that last video now i trust you but do i trust the other person not that they are pulling you into this ditch intentionally mm. Mm. you know and that's why the overprotectiveness comes like don't even put yourself in that situation in you know and obviously this seems like um conversations alone but it also has to do with like the comments i saw in those videos somebody um saying oh sit down let's just talk is armless but you guys are alone if a hold at the geo of the mm-hmm. Christian church of god can say yeah. i cannot have a female, female secretary. secretary do you get why yeah. do you think that you you know even if a man of god the most spiritual why do you think that your flesh cannot feel so women go on yeah i was just quickly going to put that in i mean like i said with age with maturity mm-hmm. there are certain things that you know you, maybe you've grown you've grown up with i'm talking to guys now you've grown up with and you've been used to for a long time but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth right um benchmark benchmarking things two ways first with the word of god secondly with your spouse's or your partner's pov mm-hmm. point of view mm-hmm. I, I feel like it plays a huge role mm-hmm. in the success of your relationship because mm-hmm. Like I said, you are 27, you're 25. You have been doing things your way for a long time. Yeah. Certain things have been rooted. They've become the truth to you, but they might not necessarily be the truth, mm-hmm. right? So I'm not saying every time your partner says this, go with it. Mm-hmm. Every, that's not what I'm saying. I'm mm-hmm. just saying be flexible enough to consider mm-hmm. and see things from their perspective as well, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it takes me back to the um, flee from every appearance of evil context, right? Um, like I said, there are certain conversations that... So deep down, you already know where this might end up, mm-hmm. right? So it's a case of why do you want to even stress 
and go through that in the first yeah. place? Is it yeah. worth it? You know that kind of thing. So and to make it worse, it's not like oh, there's also defensiveness if your partner now catches it. You're like oh no, oh, you're just there's nothing to eat. This I'm just talking. You know deep down, right? So babe, I'm also going to put you to you. Like I'm putting your blasts a lot today. <laughs> but I'm also going to put you to you. The you of now. I'm talking like the you of maybe over two years ago who mm. is now also firm with boundaries, right? To a greater extent than when I met you. Mm-hmm. How did you get there? Number one. Then number two, do you think it now has any hurt or repercussion now to say, does it make you feel less of a man or does it make you feel, you know, some type of way when you confront the situation head on? It doesn't. Now it doesn't make me feel some type of way. Initially, it was like, it felt like a bit of a journey. It, sometimes I would feel some type of way because I'm like, there's nothing to this. Like, is this necessary? But I feel like what really drove it home for me mm-hmm. is just a case of, you know what is your priority or who is your priority right if i'm claiming that i love you i care about you i can do everything for you i can give you the world i can da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, but okay, wait, no. i'm not able to prioritize certain things that you desire mm-hmm. then it, it it doesn't make sense right so it's it's just a case of you know if when, when they say two people decide to walk together mm. that's what it means it's a walk together it's a journey together yeah on that process there will be headbutts there will be clashes the way you're able to resolve and find middle grounds mm-hmm. will determine how things progress right yeah. so yeah. your way is not the best way that's what i'm, that's what I'm just trying to say your yeah. way is not always the best way and the first part of the question is like how did you get there i know that was one of the things i said back then like okay even if you don't get it if mm. i'm just asking you to mm. is that too much to ask so right? people will say it's too much to ask yeah i can already hear some people's <laughs> thoughts as they're watching this video. yeah because you you're confident that you know it's nothing but for you to now get to that part mm. where um it's not just because of my wife like you know between our relationship now there's been a conversation that you literally um, a friendship rather that I literally shut out hundred percent, right? Now with that, you didn't. You can't. You're a grown man. You can't really say, "Oh, I just stopped talking to this person hundred percent because my wife said she's uncomfortable." Mm. Did you also like? Do you think it makes it more worth it when you now see what the person where where your partner is coming from? Oh, yeah. To really not say, oh, just because I'm doing it for my wife, mm-hmm. right? To change the perspective to, okay, actually, do I see it? You know, mm-hmm. there are two different things. When you see it, it's like, you don't, you are not being accountable. It's not accountability. It's not because of, it's just, wait, do I actually see where this is going? What difference does it make for when a man actually now sees it? So I would use the example of your salvation or speaking in tongues. Uh, there are certain things that we do as Christians that are ignited by association. And I'll give an example. I was born into a Christian home, but I did not give my life to Christ until... Years down the line. Do you get me? Right? But there were triggers along the way. So my reason why graduated over time, which is exactly what it is with this scenario, right? So it was not a case of... Now that I started doing it because... I want to please you. But as I pro- progressed, I realized, hmm. or I started to see, hmm. I started to see, you know, let me say, I started to see a clearer picture, hmm. a different POV, right? From what I was seeing before. So that then made my resolve even stronger hmm. because it was no longer a case of, because my wife said so, mm-hmm. like you said, it now became a case of, okay, this does not make sense hmm. or this it's probably not worth it. That kind of thing. Which is more sustainable. Which is more sustainable mm-hmm. over the long period of time. And let me issue a disclaimer. There will be somebody watching who you'll be married, you will be married for 60 something years. You'll be married for maybe even 70 years. Depending on when you started getting when you got married. And there might be one that there might be one scenario that will never progress from because, because my the spouse said to, to okay, this and that is okay. I'm telling you this because I feel like marriage relationships, at least the people that I speak to these days, people people have started to turn it to a strictly contractual mm. agreement, forgetting the commands of God mm. in the scriptures. Mm. A man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave mm. to his wife, right? 
many many other examples i can use to set that but i'm just saying there will be times or there will be maybe one thing that the reason why mm -hmm. will be your spouse and that reason why is enough mm. it is enough yeah. you have to come you have to make peace with it everything is not fight and the reason i said that is because we need to get to a place where the value that we place on our spouses is mm -hmm. that high do you get me it, it's i'm not saying obviously on the same level as jesus or whatever but it is that high mm. like the respect and the value we place on them is that high like they are comfortable with something even though it did not make logical sense to you at the time because they said they are uncomfortable with it and because you love them and you value them mm -hmm. that's enough that's it that's it i really love that i love that's that analogy. i'm not even trying to cap i'm just telling it's back to my scriptures it's not me trying to make my wife feel good. Oh, baby, oh, you're, you're making me so happy. No, that's not what it is. I promise you, this is the gospel truth. Mm. I'm not saying to always be, but they, they, they will be. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, this is really true because for me, I asked that question from part of sustainability, right? Because what happens when you're not in good terms with your wife? And mm. you're just like, oh, I don't care what you think. Mm. This seems I'm just me. I'm going to do it. Mm. The arm of flesh will fail you, yeah. right? Not talk of when he's down. So I was asking that question from that place of, it is more sustainable for you to actually know for sure. Mm -hmm. But based on this thing that you said that, you know, it's even enough. I, that takes it to another grade for me because I know there are things in our marriage over the years too that over the years <laughs> I want to do a video on our six years what we've learned hopefully we get to it hopefully you know anyway but I digress um, over the six years that I also have changed my perspective for right my husband is the king of everything is not black and white so in relating with family you know in um helping people my you, wife is the queen of everything <laughs> was, is black was, and white was, was, was. <laughs> you know but it's taking a lot of conversations hard conversations to get me to see you know things from your perspective and Yes, there are many things that I still just tell myself, okay, because my husband wants it this way, right? But there are other times too that it's just, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's still black and white, but I see, I see the gray lining, now I see it, and those ones are the easiest, yeah. you know, to do. And yeah, um, that's it. That was, I feel like that salvation analogy really drove it home for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for Thank you. impacting us with your Celebration. knowledge Celebration. every time. So that's it on boundaries. We really hope that this helps and it drives it home for a lot of people out there. Um, one thing I will say for the women is honestly, it takes a lot of work and patience you know trying to change a two-year-old or a three-year-old if you have a toddler you know that even those are like oh, hmm. stop doing this they to will stop hitting do like you begin to <laughs> you're not gonna talk of a whole grown man you know but it takes a lot of patience along the way good thing is we have the rest of our lives on we've decided to you know walk this journey together obviously if you're in any form of like abuse or you know um perpetual infidelity that has downgraded and degraded your entire existence then that's another whole ball different, game where different. you have to seek counsel again seek therapy seek separation and things like that however in everyday you know conversations you don't agree with my point of view i don't agree with your point of view it takes a whole lot of patience you cannot just wake up and say ah, i've told him severally this is um, girl from work does not grace and doesn't agree and then you now say well let me just lock up i'll never talk about it again honestly that's not going to get you the um fruits that you want to see in your marriage i always tell people when they say oh yeah i admire your marriage i'm like see these are two vulnerable people these are two strong-headed people sometimes who just leave everything on the line, the tears we cry in the night, the things that we say and do, die to our own selves to make this work is a lot of times. I don't see people being ready for that work mm -hmm. in this age, the mm -hmm. two people, right? So oh, I'm just saying that from somebody who has walked this path, take it from us. It takes a lot of patience. And it's still something we're working through and oh, learning, yes. but this is just one place that yes. I see that we've gotten mutual agreement on and is working for us. And we just start to sit down here and 
pay forward so we hope this helps thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video be sure to give it that thumbs big thumbs up and subscribe let and us share. know any other video thank you and share let us know any other video ideas you want to see from us and we'll i will or we will see you guys in the next one peace please babe this is a serious video you get me now i don't i don't follow <laughs> So